Hi. I am Major Wood and welcome to the Regiment's SOP2 video. Here we will go over the mandatory settings and key bindings required of all active regiment personnel. For additional recommendations check out the SOP2 document. In this video we will go over the following subjects. Linking the game profile to armor units. Deactivating armor 3 voice chat. Zeus key binding. Grenade key binding. Enhanced movement key binding. In order to get the regiment gamer tag and the skull unit patch on your uniform, you have to link your Steam account to the regiment's Bohemia Armor 3 unit. In the admittedly very clunky account settings find the section login. Log in to Steam in your browser and allow the link up. Now the Bohemia account is linked to your Steam copy of Armor 3. Next, go to the Regiment Armor Units page and click Join. Remember, you have to be logged in with your Bohemia Interactive Armor 3 account to do so. In the Armor 3 launcher on the dashboard tab you will see at My Units section where you'll be able to select the regiment as an active unit. Open the profile management in the Armor 3 main menu, get to the unit tab and make sure the regiment's unit is activated in the profile you were using to play in the regiment. Since we are using the radio mod Task Force Arrowhead Radio or Tifa, all communication is tunneled through TeamSpeak. We are not using the Armor 3 voice chat which has the default setting as caps lock. The key is also used by Tifa for short range radio transmission push to talk. Thus, as a first mandatory setting you have to unbind caps lock from the in-game voice chat. To do that, go into the control settings and select the multiplayer section from the drop down menu. Click on the push to talk button. Select the caps lock block and press the delete button on the bottom. Press OK to save and close the setting. If you are on a Zeus server as a normal player you can ping Zeus by pressing Y. Since Tifa is using that key for long-range radio transmission push to talk, you have to unbind the Y key. Find the Zeus button under the Zeus section from the drop-down menu in the same manner as the in-game push to talk key and unbind it. Next up we'll go over how to delete the vanilla armor key binding. G for grenade throw and reassign it to the ace weapons function, prepare and change throwable. Otherwise, one push of the G key will by default immediately throw a grenade which is a very common cause for accidental friendly fire. The advanced combat environment mod or ace comes with a very nice visual indicator for throwables like HE, stun, smoke, infrared grenades and chem lights. It shows you what type of throwable you have selected and the approximate trajectory. You can also switch between two trajectories, throw and drop. Select the weapon section with the drop down menu in the control menu. Unbind throw from G and leave it empty, just as with the push to talk button. Then click the button Configure Add-ons on the bottom of the Controls menu and select Ace Weapons in the drop-down menu. Assign Prepare, change throwable to the G key. Now when you press G you see the Ace Grenade indicator. If you G twice you can also cycle through the different throwable objects.
to set an enhanced movement key that will allow you to jump and climb obstacles. Go to the custom controls section in the drop down menu, where you will see a lot of empty use action keys. Bind use action 1 key to something readily accessible like left or V, for example. Thank you for watching the Regiment's SOP2 video on settings and key bindings. I am Major Wood and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a good one.